too much after losing the first game? That's what we do. That's what we've been doing all year long. You know, we went literally two months, and I think maybe lost a game or two by doing what we do. You know, so it won't change. But you got to do it better. And uh, you know, they did better. They did. They did what they do better than what we do better last uh, last night. So uh, we watched film, and you just got to do a little, little harder. How do you get defensive stops better? Uh, more aggressive. Uh, knowing who's on the floor. Knowing you know, um, you know where we can help off of. Um, and just making their, their shots uh, more tough. You know, I think Clay, Clay shot 15 threes last night, and like maybe 10, 12 of them were open. Uh, Nick Young, you know, played, I don't know, limited minutes and had, you know, nine points. So it's those baskets that we can't, you know, allow to happen. James, is it fair to say that the bigger adjustments are defensive? Are you guys yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Can you talk about how you up the communication because you guys always say that's the key to your defense. Yeah, like just, you know, I think in that, in that just boom. coming up in that first quarter. Boom you know, down. Boom down. That uh, first quarter, you know, transition, you know, after two main baskets, we, we don't get matched up and KD uh, hits a three and then Nick Young hits a three. Like that's six points right there automatically, you know, so it's, instead of a 30, 29 point first quarter, you know, it's, I'm sorry, instead of, a you know, them having 24 or 23 points in that first quarter, they got 29, you know, and so, those points that we can't allow, that's on us, you know, not matching up. James, you guys started so hot in that game. You had, you had the lead, and then they were able to make a run. Uh, how I, much of it? That was a run I just told you. You know, we gave them, yeah. it wasn't a run where they just get got tough buckets. We, they got easy open threes. Yeah. Like, that's that's on us. Mike, Mike was just saying, though, maybe overall you have to up the intensity as a team just a little more, don't, yeah. knowing what's at stake, and you, you just you can't fall back. No, no, we, yeah, the intensity is going to get, you know, it's going, it's going to be even higher than it was last night, you know, but once again, can't allow guys to get open shots because we didn't get those open shots, you know, transition. And it wasn't even a fast paced transition. It wasn't like after the turnover, it was, it was two main baskets and you know, they got open shots. Uh, you know, but that's that happened throughout the course of the game and those points continue to add up. How much do they remove the margin? You mentioned some mistakes that they remove the margin of error that you can't make against them the kind you can against Virtually everybody you've played the last few years. It's the Western Conference Finals. <laughs> you know, there's four teams here for a reason. You know, so obviously, you know, these four teams have, you know, done, done great things all year. And, um, you know, you can't make the same mental mistakes like you're like in a regular season game, game you know, regular season game five. James, I know that you're focused on game two in the series, but last night, uh, Kevin Durant was not asked this question. He just mentioned it in an answer that they have the MVP over there. What does that mean to you coming from him and talking about you in that fashion? Oh, well, it's great, man. You know, it's great to hear from, you know, obviously a former MVP. And, uh, you know, I just try to put the work in and try to go out and, and, and give my team the best opportunities and chances to win the game, you know. And so, um, you know, last night it wasn't enough. <laughs> and so I got to keep our guys swag up and uh, that same energy, you know, like that we've been having all season long. And you know, tomorrow's going to be even tougher. But, you know, this is what we're here for. Does it make it any more special coming from a guy like that? Yeah, yeah. former teammate, you know, like I said, former MVP. Uh, he's done some great things, obviously, in this league. And you all know he had a great game last night. And, uh, you know, we got to figure some, some some things out. But uh, it's a great, it's a great uh, feeling. You mentioned that swag. How important is it keeping that swag? Up? That's what we've had all year. That's why we're, we're in this position, you know. And, and last night at times, we didn't have it. You know, we got to have that for a full course of a game. Mm -hmm. Um, especially coming, you know, playing against uh, the Warriors. James, you guys just you just won two in Salt Lake. Uh, I mean, 65 wins. You know, you can yeah. obviously win on the road, but you also know you went on 2 0 having to go to Oakland. I mean, that, that can be worried about game game two, man. Yeah. You can't worry about nothing, nothing else for game two tomorrow night. Uh, executing uh, position by position um, and trying to do things to uh, keep them off their rhythm. And then, you know, for everybody else uh, I'm on the Rockets, trying to get our rhythm, our defensively get stops and offensively. Push the pace and get open shots. James, you played 35 minutes. Were you tired at all in that game? Uh, no, I wasn't tired. Is that going to go up? You're going to play more against the Utah against the. Yeah. I hope so. I play 48 if I have to. James, what more on it. just keeping that that attitude you guys have had all year? You mentioned it a little bit last night. Yeah. Will, will you will you talk with the guys? Is, is the yeah, right. I mean, yesterday I called guys. <laughs> After the game, I called guys because. You can just tell as a leader, you know, when guys aren't happy or when guys aren't moving or having the same swag. So I just, you know, call guys and see how they're feeling. You know, some t some of the guys, first time being here, um, but I know how hard they work to get to this position. You know, so I want to make sure that they're they're good and in a good place. And all the guys seem, um, you know, happy and motivated. So, you know, we watch film, we can correct some things, and 
Uh, tomorrow we should be better. James what do you think is, it means, is, James, to, for guys on this team, role players particularly, to hear from you after a game like that? It means a lot, and it's not like just the first time it happened. You know, I call guys regular season, go eat with guys after games or, or whatnot. But, I mean, it, it's it's a great feeling, you know, and, and I'm sure, like, you know, even you know, teammates call me because, you know, we're in this together, and, like, I can't do it by myself. And uh, we need to, we need everybody to, to be at their top, uh, top play, you know, and so – whether it's uh, you know CP, whether it's you know, Eric, whether it's Tuck, you know, and we just open up and just talk about the game, talk about things that they that we see that they see from their angle. We can get better on things that they saw that actually worked, and uh, and figure it out. James, there were a couple of times in the first two rounds. I think game three against Minnesota, you guys lost uh, on the road. Yeah. And then game two here against Utah, and both times you guys you know bounced back, kind yeah. of dug in a little more. Is this obviously another case where you got to take it to the next level for like? The yeah, to another level for sure. Like even looking at back at the Utah series, like game one we, we barely won. Yeah. You know, game two we lost, and then we like okay, we're here in the semifinals. We got to turn up now. And so game three, we play like we should play on both ends of the floor. And so here we are. We're in the Western Conference Finals. You know, so we got to play like we need to, like we like we're supposed to be here. You know, which we do deserve, deserve to be here. Um, and defensively, just get into it, get into a rhythm, and groove, helping each other out, uh, communicating, being active. And then offensively pushing the pace, like I said, in transition, getting stops, and uh, knocking down our shots. And James, what do you take away from your time crossing paths with the play from every level of basketball on Team USA and Drew League? What was the question? What, what do you take away from your time crossing paths with Clay from every shoot level? The ball? <laughs> you know, just from every level and Team USA and all that. Yeah, he can shoot the ball. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.